change to CNN. Voice control technology has been one of the biggest stories lately in the tech industry, and we're here with Matt Revis from Nuance, which powers a lot of these voice controlled types of technologies. And so can you tell me, how does this all work? Uh, speech recognition is um, uh, 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 an algorithmic process that uses mathematical probabilities to determine what the sounds that you're making equate to in, in human language. Um, and it's evolved over the last 15 years to be something that's very intuitive and easy to use for people. So I know that Nuance makes a lot of apps for mobile. Walk me through some of the mobile apps that Nuance offers. So Nuance has, uh, in over 24 languages, we have Dragon Dictation, which allows you to just you talk at types in an iPhone. We have uh, Dragon Go, which is a really advanced natural language search application. Boston Red Sox tickets that allows you to search for anything and it takes you right deep into uh, the content that you want to find. So Nuance has a wide variety of mobile applications we make available. So all of this sounds a lot like Apple Siri, which on the new iPhone 4S has been one of the biggest features of that new phone. Uh, does Nuance power the Siri technology? Apple licenses Nuance technology for a variety of its products, which is what I can say. So you can't confirm that it's for Siri specifically? I can't confirm that. And beyond mobile phones, um, I know Nuance has some things going on with televisions, computers. What else do you do? Uh, television is the next uh, major frontier for Nuance. Uh, we announced the availability of our Dragon TV solution what here at CES, tonight? which enables you to just sit back on your couch and talk to your TV to change channels, search the electronic program Turn guide, um, change the volume. Really, anything that you do with a remote, you can just do by voice. So beyond things like televisions, cell phones, what are the real world implications for this kind of technology? Uh, I think that speech recognition will be a ubiquitous interface for any um, computer that you interact with, whether it's in your car, uh, you mentioned TV and phones, tablets, uh, in your house, turning on the heat, turning on your alarm system, anywhere where you need to interact with a machine, people would prefer to interact with something that has a personality that understands them, um, and that's the future of the technology.